Hi everyone, in today's video I want to bring you a tutorial about Luminar 4. It's such a great software I talked about last week and so many of you were interested because you don't have to pay subscription. You own it once you pay it and that's it. And right now I have a link in the description below and you can grab it for just 59 pounds I think it is for a limited time and you have discounts and presets and stuff. So take a look because if you buy it you just don't have to pay anything else anymore and you will see how great it works. It works by AI and so many of you probably not gonna understand it till now because I'm gonna explain it to you and it works very well for landscape photography and portrait you can edit everything by use it for portrait and landscape because it's amazing so I'm gonna bring you more tutorials about it but today I'm gonna focus in one travel picture or two so you can understand a bit and then I will do more tutorials and you can even ask me in the comments below if you want to know more so let's go to it guys Okay, so as I mentioned before, I use this program as a plugin from Lightroom or Photoshop, but if you want to use it as a standalone program, this is how it would look like, the workspace. So you would have to go to here, add folder with images. For example, I put here together a folder to show you. Add folder, and it's super quick as well. This is all raw files. And then here you would have your gallery all the pictures organized and the new feature this update brings is the search button so if you go here you can search by image folder by name date or extension which is really good to find your pictures you are looking for and then for example i'm gonna edit a travel picture a landscape this one this by the way is basque country is where i'm from in spain and it's amazing and you haven't been yet by the way and here you have luminar looks so you can buy some i bought a few of them because they were in discount and for example it comes with a few of them as well and then here you can apply a preset and you can change the opacity so it's not that heavy but because i want to show you the program properly you know already what is presets so i'm gonna put reset and start from zero so for example if you go to the light section you have all the features as other program would have and you can find everything here. And this is the fun part I want to show you about, the AI Enhance and AI Structure. If you go to AI Enhance, you will see here these amazing features. If you put AI Accent, you will see how it improves the picture straight away. So this is the before and the after. It's already amazing, the light it gives. And the AI Sky Enhancer is amazing because it's like you would have a neutral density filter in the sky. So if you move it, you see? It accentuates the sky, which is super useful for landscape photography as well. And if you go to AI Structure, this is the structure, as it says, and you can do this, but it's too much for my taste, to be honest. So I would put like maybe 10 to accentuate a bit the features of the landscape and then you have landscape enhancer you can use the haze golden hour foliage enhancer go to golden hour and you will see it adds like an orange look i'm gonna leave it on 30 then foliage enhancer what it would do is if you have like green or any foliage in the picture it would accentuate the colors so i'm gonna put it at 100 and you will see already is more green so this is already amazing look the before and the after and was in two minutes guys it's super good and this is the great thing this program has go to the creative tab and if you go to ai sky replacement you put sky selection and you have already a nice library it comes with the program to change the sky look at this this one is one for example dramatic sky three this one is another one sunset this one is another one don't worry about this it's too heavy but you can change it later so it's softer and the new update of Luminar brings this section, Load Custom Sky Image. So you can actually have your own skies, you can even shoot your own skies and load them here and put the sky you shoot here, so this is great. For example, for this image, I'm gonna use Blue Sky 5. 
and it's super good. It's super heavy. So there is people who like like this, but I like it a bit softer. So what you can do here, you have so many options to change this. You can play with that, but go to edit mask and put luminosity. And it's gonna take a bit, maybe, one, well, I don't know, a few seconds only, to be honest, it's not too much, and you will see the difference. There you go. Now it's more adapted to the landscape and it's softer. Okay, so then what else do you have? You have AI Augment Sky, and what you can do is add objects, but I'm not gonna play with this today because I personally don't like it. It's more for designs or graphic design or things like that, but you can play with it as well. It's great. You can add birds even, so it's super good. And then here in the dramatic look, you can make the landscape more dramatic, as you can see here, but it's too much. So I don't play too much with the dramatic option, but you can do it if you want to. Then you have the matte look, the mystical color styles, lots. You have a lot of options here, but I'm gonna play with the mystical because I personally love this one because it makes the picture a bit more glowy and less contrasty. You will see, this is 100. So this is the before and the after. It's super nice, but I'm gonna put 50. I don't like to overdo things with landscapes. And then everyone know what is LUTs. So you have LUTs already installed with the program and you have many of them, like creative, cinematic. You have many options to choose from regarding of your style, to be honest. I'm gonna put this one, Long Beach. And you can put as well the amount you want, the contrast, saturation, edit the mask. You can do a lot of things with this. But for example, just to show you, you can put it further. But again, by default, it comes by 30. I'm gonna leave it by 30 because I quite like it. It's not too exaggerated. And then you can put texture overlays, more glowing, film grain, even fog. You can do a lot of things with it. But so far, look at this. It's actually incredible how it looks like. I love it. So then you go as well to color and you have as in Lightroom or any other program, a lot of options to play with the hues as well of the picture. So I like to play with the blue because I personally like more teal colors. So you select the blue and look the sky. It changes a lot the colors. So I like to put it in minus 45, minus 50 more or less. And then I remove a bit of the saturation because I like a bit more moody, my landscapes, but then you can leave it like this if you want. And you can remove the saturation. I'm gonna put it in minus 25. And you can play with luminance as well to make it more moody, as you can tell, you see? But I'm gonna put it just in minus 15, it's fine. Maybe a bit less and a bit more saturated. This is up to you guys, you can play with this forever. <laughs> it's super good actually. And like that, it looks pretty cool already from before and after. And I like to put vignette on my pictures and landscapes even more because it's more moody as well. So you can play a lot with this. I'm gonna put minus 40. But you have more options as well here. Like I'm not gonna get into this because you can play with it and it's quite easy. It's very intuitive, this program. So this is the before and this is the after. And I'm gonna put a bit more light on my shadows. You can leave the shadows a bit. There you go. And this is already great, guys. And it has this feature I love to see how it was the before and after, which you can actually drag this and see the before and the after. I love it, it's super good, guys. So then once you do this and you like the picture, you can save it and show you now how to do it or you can save the preset. This is super good as well. You can put here, save new look, title it, look five, for example, however you wanna call it, save. And you would have it here in user luminar looks and you have your own here. So now if you go to the pictures again and you select other landscape, this one, for example, you can do exactly the same as I did with the preset that you saved. And there you go. The sky is very heavy, but again, you can change it here, so it's not an issue. And you can also as well remove the opacity. So you leave it there. Look at this, guys. You just press one click and you have the picture edited 
this is the before and this is the after. This is super good for landscape photographers as well, but for portrait, you will see in a few weeks as well, it's amazing for the skin and for the features. So now when you're gonna save the picture, there is a new feature. You will go here. You can export to image by email, messages, smack, smack, and then 500px, this is new as well. Or you can open, because I say before it works as a plugin, in Photoshop or Lightroom. So you go to 500px, this is the new feature of the new update. And there you go. You see here 500px, this is my account. And you can change here the title, put a description of the picture, and you can put it straight away in the category. You have all the categories here for 500px. You would put landscapes, and then location, keyboards, and all these features. And then you can press upload, and it goes straight away to 500px. I'm not gonna use this today, so I'm gonna cancel. But then you can just save it here, export to image, you can export it whatever you want, put tags, and then this is the mode to save it. Sharpen, low, medium, high, resize, I'm gonna put original, but just so you know, you can resize as well. And then color space, sRGB, Adobe, RGB, Profoto, RGB. You know for screens it's always better sRGB, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And then the formats, you have JPEG, PNG, TIFF, JPEG 2000, Photoshop, PDF. Obviously, I'm going to put it in JPEG for now because it's for web. And then the quality. And then save. I'm going to replace it because I edited it before. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This is a little tutorial, but you just saw, like, in a few minutes, I edit a very nice picture. So this is super good if you want to own a program and you don't want to pay subscription. I still use Adobe because I'm very used to that workflow, but if you don't want to pay subscription, you pay this program and you own it and it's super, super, super good as you saw. So in the link in the description below, you have a limited time discount and you can grab it for 59 pounds and you own it and you have discounts as well in presents right now so let me know what do you think about it in the comments below and let me know if you want me to do a specific tutorials about anything in particular about the program because i would be very happy to do it and i will see you soon guys